Yo, what's up, YouTube family? So check it out. This video <laughs> is specifically for consigners and consigners only. We don't have any other information. This is just instructions for the people who decide to consign at Countdown. So if you want to tune out, no diss. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you at the next video. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. So for our consigners out there, thank you for trusting us. Thank you for wanting to work with us. Um, we just want to give some simple outlines on how the consignment process works. We get asked that a lot. We decided to make a video just with simple instructions and how things go. All right, so basically for our consigners, there's a couple of things we want you to do before you send the shoes. So first things first, send us a DM through Instagram. Also send us a list. Don't just start sending, product. you know, product without, you know, having it ran by us. Ran by us. We so, don't want you to waste your time. Yeah, so there's like certain shoes that we need in here. We know like a military black, if we're missing a couple sizes in the back, we would want you to consign that. So if we need, you know, size eight through 10, of course, if you have that, go ahead and send it. But again, first, DM us. Second, you can send us a list. We can give you an email strictly for that, or you can send it in the Instagram and we can pick and choose from there. Um, and third, you know, it's as easy as this. After we get your email address, we shoot you our consigner consent form. Yes, everything on that form needs to be filled out. This is just according to us following the rules our CPA is asking of us. So a CPA is just our tax guy. There's certain things he needs, like your social security number, bank account, and so on and so forth. We're not stealing your identity, I promise it. If you have any red flags, you could obviously come straight to Countdown because yeah. we're the only ones you're giving that info to. But with that being said, we're storing it properly, we're filing it properly, and it's only going to our tax guy. And the reason we need your routing and checking account information for an ACH uh, deposit is because we're doing direct deposit payments now. Um, it's convenient to you. We're not doing no cash app and you having to worry about filing your reports with cash app. So that's every 1st and 15th we yeah. do a direct deposit with y'all. So once we get it between the 1st and the 15th, you should be getting anywhere maybe a day or two business days later. It should right. be hitting your account. So the 15th or the 1st lands on a weekend. Just expect that the following Monday unless a holiday interferes with all of that. So if there's a holiday, like Martin Luther King just passed yeah. on a Monday, we did pay out that Tuesday because the, the first or the 15th. And we have a couple of consigners that are scared, you know, sending us their info. But like like RJ said, you know, we're keeping it in a stored location. Nobody's going to steal your identity. Yeah. That's that's all on us. So if you, if you guys don't feel comfortable emailing it to us or, I mean, we still need it on the forum, granted. But if you don't feel comfortable sending that information through like Instagram or, or whatnot, you can definitely hop on a phone call. We can annotate everything over the phone and get your direct deposit going that way. So the way the process goes as far as inventory is concerned is if the store has a pair of, of shoes that you plan to consign already, you're matching the store's price for that. Granted, let's say you're like, hey, I'm trying to price my stuff a lot lower. And if the store has maybe one or two pairs, then yeah, maybe we can reevaluate market, see more or less what we can sell it for. But granted, this is where you as a consigner can take advantage of selling things for store price. And um, if here at Countdown, let's say we have a panda, we don't sell pandas for five or six different prices. It's one flat price at the bottom of the shoe. That way the customer experience is really easy. People know more or less how much they're spending on every size of the panda. They can just ask one of our employees, hey, give me a size nine in the pandas. And they know automatically it's this price. And if you're asking why we do that, it's because we sell to families in here. So a bunch of these families, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, doesn't matter. They don't understand that, you know, sizes vary and certain sizes are a different price. Right. So we make it easier for the customers here in shop. So when they see, you know, a certain panda at on the wall, it's a certain price after tax and everything. So we just love matching the prices on every single shoe. We don't have different sizes like RJ says. Our full size run is from eight all the way to 14. Right. And it's set at X amount. Clothing, on the other hand, you know, if we have unique pieces like old school box logos, um, that's different. you know, yeah. things like that, that's a whole different ball game. You can obviously set your price for unique items. Granted, if it's like a summer spring tea or a fall winter basic drop from Supreme or, or something like that, we usually typically sell t-shirts anywhere from about 85 to like $130 max, right? Yeah. Depending on the rarity of, this, of the t-shirt. Um, BAPE, anti-social V-loan trends. Uh, there's a lot of people who buy wholesale, buy this, buy that, stay buy from List. That. We stay away from that unless you're buying it from BAPE and you have receipts from BAPE or V-loan and all these other places. We're not going to take that risk. Um, we ra we would rather not accept those those things with the potential of them being unauthentic. Granted, you may have a million reasons why you believe that they're authentic, but without proof of purchase or anything like that, we're just staying away from it altogether. Our reputation is important to us, and it is really fragile. So, any type of clothing, any type of accessories, if you don't have any 
way to back up that it's authentic, unfortunately, you cannot consign that with us. Um, again, we do payouts every 1st and 15th. Um, it's really convenient. The last time we did it, the direct deposit happened like that. People love it. I haven't seen our consigners lately because back then they were used to walking in and out every Monday, every Monday, yeah. and picking up cash or we're sending out. Trying cash to rush over here after work because they know we close at seven and they're rushing, seeing if we can stay open. You know, we have family, so there's times where we just want to close and leave it at that, wait for the next day. But now this is a lot easier. We have direct deposits, so expect it on the first and fifteenth. Simple as that. Right. How long can your stuff be here? There's no necessarily expiration date. We ain't that big yet. For yeah. you to be like, hey, um, come pick up your stuff. Come already. pick up your stuff. This yeah. that, and the other. If it's something like, you know, like I had a Yeezy 500 high here since the store opened, and we decided to do a steal. Granted, you can always contact us at a later time. Say, hey, drop this price. Let's get this thing moved. You can, oh, you can throw us. a steal. Yeah, throw you a steal. You can throw for a me. steal for the people, yeah. and yeah, we we get your product sold that way as well. So um, there is no expiration date on how long you can leave something. There is no like limit quantity as long as we approve it before you send it to us. Um, other than that, it's really convenient consigning with us. It's uh, not your traditional. There's one thing that way. we do ask. There's one thing uh, we just say when you ship us shoes or you can sign shoes with us, please allow us two weeks minimum to sell your shoe. Don't be that guy that comes in, drops off a shoe, and is asking the next day, hey, has my shoe sold? No. Mm -hmm. Give it time. You're going to get a notification. You're going to get an alert. I forgot There's, to mention that in the yeah. beginning that we do have the app that makes it really convenient. Um, yeah. We will ask you for your information, like your address, um, your email. phone number, your email, to get you logged in, and we'll walk you through that process. Granted, just be patient with us on our, re our response time because we do get caught up too. But we would definitely want to make sure you're logged into that app so you get real-time notifications. So that means after I scan a box, and the customer puts their card or pays in cash and I hit enter for that receipt, you get an alert on your phone saying your product has sold. And, then and that doesn't mean a payout's ready. That's no, no. just telling you that your product sold. Yeah, you'll get you'll, another notification. You get two notifications yeah. total. One is for the product being sold and the second that your product has been, po or your payout has Process. been posted. Yeah. yeah, so when you hear that posted notification, it's either the first or 15th of the month. That's how you know we're sending out those payments. Yeah. So. so yeah, please, we just ask, give us two weeks minimum. Just to, to sell, sell your, your shoe. Yep. You know, we're not urban necessities. Stuff's not flying like them. They We don't sell hundreds of shoes a day. I mean, we do a good amount of volume, but then again, just please give us two weeks. That's all we ask for. Let us market it. Let us we advertise the heck out of it. We take pictures of our new things. We yeah. post on the daily. We're posting skits now on the daily, yeah. you know, so there's no other person, I think, in the city that's advertising as hard as us. And to get your Trying product to get your sold shoes in moved. South Texas yeah. moved, I think, is a very high chance. You know what I mean? We bring a lot of attraction to San Antonio, believe it or not. It is a tourism type of city. We do got the Spurs here. We now have the Brahmas. Um, a lot of those type of players shop with us, too. So, yes, we can use those big size UTSA shoes. UTSA football team. Yeah, we got UTSA. Don't forget, um, hey, don't forget my alma mater. Right? Birds up, birds right? up. Nah, but <laughs> we, we, we have a high clientele. We have a high attraction. And we are causing and it's a lot of noise. We're only getting bigger. Yeah, we're causing a lot of noise in the city. And you, you will be if you're consigning us with, with us now, you will be moving with us to the new location where we think is going to be an upscale in sales. So. Yeah, mind you, our shop right now is just a little over a thousand square foot. New shop, we're doubling it, and at the new shop, just our store, like our um, how main, do you say main the floor. floor, our main floor is as, as big as, as entire this store. entire store. So that's speaking volume right there. Yeah. Like we're moving up, we're not staying, you know, we're not comfortable where yeah. we're at. We want to keep just elevating 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 so so again if you if you want to do price changes or anything in the future just hit us up yeah um as we grow you grow if market skyrockets james and i evaluate that and we automatically move all the shoes up or down um so on and so forth you you have access to see your inventory on that app you'll see uh, how much is how much you're potentially going to make by consigning with us your net, um, your net all of yeah. that stuff your your current inventory your payout history so that app makes it really convenient. And um, if you have any questions at all, don't be uh, afraid to hit us up and ask us. We just wanted to make this video. So you get to meet James and I, the two owners of Countdown, to actually let you know that your your stuff's in good hands and we can move it. In also, who way. it's coming to. It's coming to me and him. Yep. So, so yeah, hit us man. up with any questions, yo. This is uh, the lasting remarks. We appreciate you guys. I know y'all are tired of seeing consignment videos, but we, we work for you. The, the, yeah, the, we work for pretty you. Pretty much, we, we get DMs on you know how it works, so yep. we just answer the DMs. We make a video out of it, so it's easy for y'all. So if you have any questions, we send y'all strictly to the YouTube We're video. We're gonna attach this link and go yeah. from there. So. Easy as that. Any questions, hit us up. I'm RJ James. This is the Countdown Way. Peace, babe. Peace.